I think it was born from a love and kind of um, a mutual respect for, for the genre. And also it was going to be a cool fashion project. None of us thought it was going to take off like it had. Now I'm the king of the swing of soul, the jungle VIP. They don't write music like that anymore. No. Because that, that era was born from a time where there was a prohibition, there was a restriction on alcohol, there was a Great Depression. How would you describe your sound though? I like to describe it as R&B, pop, soul music. I know that I'm heavily influenced by pop and R&B music. However, the writing style or the, you know, the lyrical style will always be pop, it will always be a repetitive something. Join me, Proverb, on the mic as we showcase the very best South African talent. From the up and coming to the established across all genres. I'm the next biggest thing in Africa. If somebody is going to feel what I'm feeling, it has to be what I'm feeling. That's the mic every single Saturday exclusive. A lot of the magic has actually happened outside of studio spaces. <laughs> SABC3. I can't wait for the streets to hear this. This is different. This is an artist who's been in the game, have to be, mm -hmm. for quite some time. Right. I'd like to welcome everybody out here. I want to be one of the most influential people in the land. When I make my music, it's me expressing myself. My love for music, it definitely is a calling for me. I was meant to do it. As difficult as it was, you ran through it. How did you do this in spite of the loss? I took whatever kind of challenge. I really believed that if I fail, I shall have failed uh, my people. I was raided by uh, the system. They wanted to put me down. I resisted. I beat them in everything they tried. Here I am today at 96. I am still a... Uh, running. You may never lose your dream. It is that dream that can make you the person of tomorrow.